Woman Jekka, Marin Big Big, Bunurong Nam Derp, Raptan Atwilam. Come with purpose to my beautiful home, land of the two bays. My name is Gary Nariman Steele, and I'm a proud descendant of the Bunurong people of the Kulin Nation, the traditional custodians on the lands in which we meet. It is with great respect that I continue the traditions of my ancestors by welcoming you to country here today. But before I begin, I would like to pay respects to my ancestors and those that came before me. People like my mother, Nalit Carolyn Briggs, and my great-great-grandmother, Parvanada Louisa Briggs. These people protected our language, our history, our stories, our culture, and ensured that it would stay strong for future generations. And the reason that I can share these things with you here today. They taught me the importance of country, the importance of community, and the importance of the knowledge that we had, and how we can protect these things through the welcome to country itself. Uh, for instance, when we say um, welcome to country in the Kulin Nations, we say woman Jekka. Um, and many people confuse this for um, welcome. But the truth is it's more like a challenge. It's um, the accurate translation would be come with purpose. And the middle part, the jet part, is actually an intonation telling us that it's a command. It's not a, a request. It's someone's telling you to do something and you know come with purpose what does that mean well purpose is you know it's such an important thing but it's something we often forget about um, but for indigenous people you know purpose is what's helped us survive for eighty thousand years it's what's helped us survive even the last 200 years you know 200 years of genocide colonization uh, displacement and discrimination uh, indigenous people understand that purpose has to be greater than the individual. And it's got to be something that unifies our communities, just in the way that we unify um, for things like lands rights, treaty, sovereignty. It has to bring us all together. So what's your purpose? Is it something that's greater than yourself? Is it something that will uh, unify the people around you? The other part of the welcome to country is what we call Wurangibik, the laws of the land. And it's according to the traditions um, of the people that came before me that the lands where we meet were created by Bunjil. Bunjil is our creator spirit and travels as the eagle. And he always taught the Bunurong to welcome guests, but he required us to ask all guests to make two promises. The first one was to not harm the land or the children of Bunjil. The second promise was to honour and obey the words, uh, the, the laws of Bunjil. Obey our Wurangi Bik, our laws of the land. Our Wurangi Bik informs us how to conduct ourselves while we're on country. And at their foundation, it creates a foundation for our values. Our values of knowledge, for instance. You know, understanding that knowledge is a responsibility. We say, yelenj. For my ancestors, knowledge was a responsibility because we didn't have the universities, the schools and the libraries that we have today. We had an older generation and a strong oral tradition of passing knowledge down to future generations, ensuring that knowledge would be a capability of our future generations. What about community? The foundation of community, the value of community. A strong community is a diverse community. So we have to invite diverse opinions and ideas into our community in order to build our capabilities and widen our lens of perspective. But we also have to identify the things that we have in common. You see, no matter how different we think you are, we do have things in common. And this helps to unify us as a diverse community. Finally, honouring sacred ground, country. You know, we're very fortunate in Australia to have 80,000 years of human history on the lands where we live and work. And honouring sacred ground is about tapping into that as people that live here by understanding the history of the stories and the people that have come to pass on the land that we stand. So we honour these values and we honour these laws and 
this is how we conduct ourselves while we're on country. And if we can do that, I can say in the words of my ancestors, Woman Jekka, Marambikbik, Bunurong Nyamda, Brabdan, Atawalam. Thank you.